Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to make electrical connections for your boat that are going to increase the longevity of all of your electrical components on your boat. Now the first thing that you're going to need to ensure is that you have all of the necessary items to be able to make these connections. So let's go through them. The wire connectors that you purchase need to be heat shrink waterproof connectors. You also need to ensure that the wire that you're using is marine grade wire. You will also need some CRC dielectric grease and you're going to add this to all of your connections to further prevent saltwater corrosion. Then you're going to need a good crimper to peel and crimp the wire and the connector. And lastly, you're going to need a lighter to heat up the heat shrink on your connection. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is get your crimpers and you're going to want to go ahead and peel back your wire. Go ahead and remove the outside covering to expose the wire. Now what you want to make sure that you don't do is that you peel this back too far and then when you put your connection on, the outside covering on your wire is not underneath the part that you're heat shrinking. So you do not want to have the wire exposed and go beyond the end of your connector because that's going to cause corrosion at that point beyond where the waterproof heat shrink connector will block the wire. Now then before you go ahead and insert your wire into your connector what i like to do and i'm not going to do it right now because it's going to make a mess here at my kitchen table but is i go ahead and i insert the dielectric grease and i pump it and what's going to happen is this dielectric grease is going to come all the way out the other side and fill the entire connector on the inside with dielectric grease this is going to really help take it a step further in preventing salt water corrosion inside of your connections and all of your plugs. So once you go ahead and complete that and you fill it with the dielectric grease, you're going to want to go ahead and insert your connector and then you're going to want to have a good set of crimpers to crimp it down. Then when you crimp it down, I would tell you, give it a little tug to make sure that that wire is not loose. And this is why it's so important that when you buy these connectors, you're buying them for the right size gauge of wire that you have. If it's too big, then the wire is not going to make a good connection in there. It's going to give you a whole bunch of other problems, but it also could fall out right when you crimp it. And so then it's going to be ineffective. So make sure that you have the right gauge connections for the right gauge wire that you have. Then once you're happy with your connection and you've given it a tug, the wire is not going to fall out. You can go ahead and get your lighter and then you're going to proceed to heat up the outside of your heat shrink connector. And this is going to melt the outside of the connector and it's going to make a watertight seal around your wire. Now, when you're done with this, be very careful because this end right here that you just heated up is going to be very hot. So if you touch it, you could get burned. Now, in addition to this, if you wanted to go even a step further, and I do this for a lot of the connections that I have on the boat that are um, really in areas where they get a lot of humidity in the bilge area is I go ahead and I put a heat shrink tubing. And what this is going to do is after you've gone and you've already connected both of your wires, you have to slide this on first. So you'll slide it on first and then you'll go ahead and, and we're just showing this example. But if you were, you know, connecting your two wires, you would connect it. Then you would slide the heat shrink tubing over it. And then what happens when you heat this up, it gives it another coating on the outside to really help prevent against the salt water corrosion. And I really like doing that because a lot of times when you crimp this thing, it could crack the plastic on the outside of the, uh, the connection. And that could create a point in where corrosion could start happening in a harsh salt water environment. So by placing this tubing on the outside and heat shrinking this up, it gives it another layer of protection from the salt water. Now, the last thing I would also tell you is here, this example is just how you would do the heat shrink and then don't forget about loading it up with the dielectric grease on the inside. And then you've got the option and if you're in, in you know, making these connections like in your bilge where it's, you know it's gonna be very high humidity in there, high moisture, harsh salt water environment, you could go a step further and put the tubing on the outside and heat shrink that and now you have two different layers of protection plus a dielectric grease on the inside now what i would tell you guys is if you are doing this and you're changing a, a fuse a breaker a switch in your dash anything at all that you're doing and some of those will have the little circle here with the screw that goes through it 
maybe you just bought a boat, I would tell you go ahead and take this dielectric grease. You could put it on your fingers, you could rub it on everything, you could take the connections out, the terminals, and you could you could press a little the little tag right here, the tag end right there, and it's gonna pump grease in. It's a clear, thin grease, but what it's gonna do is protect all of these from the saltwater corrosion. I would recommend that you go ahead and do that on every single one of those connections under the dash and all your distribution blocks on your battery because it will completely increase the longevity of everything that you have hooked up in the boat because it's gonna really delay and prevent corrosion from that salt water environment. All right, so now you know how to ensure that you have max protection from the harsh salt water environment on all of your electrical connections on your boat. If you wanna check out more helpful boating 101 tips, check out this playlist next. <laughs>